okay, I just had a bunch of Yorkshire tea, which was the loose leaf kind, and I didn't realize how strong it was, and it said put like this much in, and I put double that much in, and I had two cups of it. So I'm really hyper. Today, my bookshelf is really shaky. Today, I want to talk about books. Books and the library and all things related to books and a lot of books. Here's some more books that I want to talk about. Yeah, okay, let's do this. During the summer, I have more time to read and I feel like I can read more and I like going outside and lying in the sun and reading while I'm tanning or whatever and being warm and stuff. I want to talk to you guys about books I've been reading this summer and stuff and books that I want to read and other types of books and old books and new books and all books. Especially this summer, I got into Goodreads about a year ago and that's really helped fuel my reading and also booktubers. I've known of them for a few years, but I only recently really started watching a few of them, like more so, and actually subscribing to them. Because before I was like, oh, whatever, like, I'm not like that into books. I don't know, recently I've been more into reading and been finding a lot more cool things and stuff. So I want to talk to you guys about books and things. First, let me talk about um, what I'm currently reading. And I've been getting a lot of things out of the library because I don't really have money. And the library is great, and I've been getting a lot of DVDs out too. Uh, right now I'm reading The Cinder, and this is a book series that um, a lot of people were reading a few years ago. And it's YA. Each different book is a fairy tale, but they're like dystopian, futuristic, sci-fi, fantasy versions of them. Yeah, it says Cinder's story continues, so the next one, then Scarlet came out in 2013, and then Crest in 2014, and Winter came out this year, or is coming out, I'm not sure. I think it came out. But anyways, yeah, uh, this has just been a fun read. I only started it two days ago and I'm already that far. I'll probably finish it within the next two or three days. And I really like it and it's really fun. The only thing I think about this that could be better is the backstory to the whole universe of the book. And it's not fully developed and there's some descriptions that are put in later, like or maybe I didn't notice them the first time around, but I'm pretty sure they weren't there. Like, for instance, what are hovers? Are they hover cars? I'm picturing them as hover cars, but then they say, like, this mag belt. They don't really explain it. Is it, like, it's, like, this is, like, the, instead of tar, it's, like, magnets, so it's, like, floating a little bit? Or is it, like, hover cars, like, back to the future, like, full on in the air? And, like, also even just people's hair color, like, I'm confused. Uh, what's the apartment? Is it big? I don't know. There's some descriptions that would make this book a little bigger, but I think it'd be worth it. Really help you paint the picture of the story in your mind. Because of course everyone pictures everything differently when they read, but like, I was reading it and picturing the girl's hair as blonde, and then it's actually brunette, and I'm like, oh, well, my brain picture is not changing now, so whatever. But otherwise, besides that, it's really good, and I'm enjoying it. Two other books I got at the library the, library the other day are um, Shipbreaker, and this Christopher Isherwood, The Berlin Stories. This is just, uh, I mean, I heard about it a few years ago or whatever, and it's on the top of one of those Goodreads, like, uh, dystopian novels. So I don't know too much about it, but I, it gets a lot of praise, so I'm sure it'll be good. And I've heard a lot of good things about this author, and he has new books out, so I want to start with the one that I've heard of the most, so we'll see. And next, I got Christopher Isherwood stuff out of the library. This is an old edition. It's, like, ripping and stuff, and... It's like this, and I'm not too fond of that. I guess I was introduced to Christopher Isherwood by when Matt Smith was in the Christopher and His Kind movie, and I really liked that film. That got me into him, and um, I really love like World War II stories and things like that. It's one of my favorite eras to read about and learn about. This is what Cabaret is based on, and this one is two stories. The Last of Mr. Norris is the first one in here, and then the next one is... Goodbye, yeah, Goodbye to Berlin is the second one. So they just made a bunch of new editions of all his books, and I really want to get... Uh, I really wanted to read Christopher and His Kind first, and then read these, and then maybe A Single Man or whatever else. I couldn't wait anymore, so hopefully my birthday's next week. I keep hinting at my mom I really want his books. So Christopher and His Kind is a memoir, and this is... I'm guessing it's similar to that, and also... And then it's been even here. I think it's changed more from the film Cabaret, and... I really liked Cabaret and I didn't know it was based on Isherwood when I first watched it. I just knew it was like a classic film I should watch, whatever. And then I was like, this is totally, she's totally, like the girl is totally the girl in 
Isher in the Christopher and his kind and it's totally the same thing basically. Yeah, it's still a really great film and I'm definitely gonna enjoy this. It's gonna be really fun. Sticking with the World War II theme, I read reread Night recently and I read this freshman year of high school and then I also picked up the other two at the Strand in New York last summer and I read Day over the summer and I haven't read, wait, I read Dawn but I haven't read Day yet and I want to read it and it was really short. This is really good. This is actually his memoir and this is nonfiction and these two are in the same why are these backwards these two are in the same series um they all go together but it's kind of like he takes himself and puts him as a fictional character based off of this into these and they're very they're not set in the same time or anything so that's kind of disappointing because I mean they're after but they're way, they're way more after especially this last one is supposed to be like when he's old in New York getting hit by a car or something this one is him the whole thing is just he goes to the Middle East and has to shoot some guy and he's like terrorist or something and there's like war or whatever things happening down there. I mean this one's literally only 80 pages so I still finished it but eh. and this one's a little over 100 so I'll still read it but the first one's definitely like uh, the best and because it's a true story it's good. I mean it's depressing but I, th I think it's necessary and I'm glad I read it a long time ago. This is actually the copy from the the um, county library, not my county I live in that I go to the library now, but the county below me because before that the closest one was in the next county because I'm on the border of two counties. I didn't realize that till like maybe one or two years ago and I was like, this is from the library. Oops. This is before they even had the electronic system because, I mean, I guess, well, they some had it, but they still stamped it, so. Oops. Next off, I have The Once and Future King, and I got this at a used bookstore around my campus freshman year of college. Now that I've graduated, it's been sitting in my shelf for a while. So The Once and Future King has four stories in it, and I read The Sword in the Stone, and that one was really fun. The Disney cartoon film follows them very closely. I didn't watch that till after I read the first one, and I actually watched it while I was in England, so that was cool. I read that one and then um, it's really charming and fun and then the next one I just read last week and it is the uh, Queen of Air and Darkness and that one's only at the 100 pages so I was like okay I'll read the next one and then see what I want to read next or if I want to continue so that one was really good I believe Merlin's only in the first two which is kind of disappointing so I started reading like five pages of the next one and then put the books on hold that I got at the library so I got those and started reading that but I definitely I want to finish this whole thing before the end of the year but I kind of like breaking it up into reading only one story at a time because it's daunting at 600 pages and the font is pretty small so it takes a while it took me I'm reading almost a book a week this summer this took me about two weeks to read the second one and it's only 100 pages there were points that were kind of dull and there were points that are really exciting so it kind of fluctuated for me but we'll see how it goes. But since I was in Glastonbury and stuff last year, I picked up these two little books in Glastonbury at the Abbey. And there were just two little cheap two pound, three pound, four pound uh, books. A thing I did a lot when I was abroad is I got little info books. So I have one about Glastonbury in general. I have one about uh, Yorkshire in general. And then I have one about Rome in general. And um, just little history things. So. If I wasn't too informed about the place beforehand, I could go back later and read more about the place. And I think that's a really good souvenir that really helps you learn about things. And it's really cool. I've, I've liked doing that. So I have one about Merlin. So I have one about Merlin. I wish I got a book about Stonehenge. I didn't have time to go to the gift shop. I was really upset. So this one is really more fun looking than the other one. And it has some art in it. But once I finish all that, I definitely want to read these after. So this one has... A lot of different things about Merlin, different Mer like historical whatever points where Merlin could have been in different times, um, like myths where they're tied to places. It has a lot of colors and pictures and artwork, so that one's fun. This one was five pounds, and this one was only two pound ninety nine, and it's not as pretty. This one's just about uh, King Arthur, and it's not that exciting. I mean, I'll still read it because it's short and whatever, but it doesn't have like pictures or maps or anything, so. They'll be a nice little useful basic history, mythy, knowledge learning books, I guess. Going off of that, I got this a while ago at Politics and Prose, which is in Bethesda. Here's the bookmark for it. Um, that's a really cool bookstore. Another bookstore I really like that's um, independent 
is the strand like I mentioned earlier. I don't know if you guys know about it, but it's amazing. It's in um, New York City and it has really cheap books and used books that are cheap and new books and every kind of books. It's four floors and then they have like really old cool editions of books and like vintage books that are like thousands of dollars that you can just look at but or if you have enough money and you really want it like really cool collectible items so that's super cool anyways I got this to politics and prose and it's um Sherlock stuff and after watching BBC Sherlock I got more interested in it and I was like hey this is good it has a bunch of the stories really short and uh, like the shorter ones um, and memoirs and whatever in here. I read the intro and was gonna read that, but then I wanted to re more read this, uh, finish all these before the end of the year, so I put this one on hold for a little bit. But it has a really cool intro about, like, when the things came out and how it was popular and whatever in that time. So this has a lot of stuff, and it has the adventure of blah 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 blah, and it has, like, that many. And then it has some memoirs. So it's a bunch of really short one so I think it's a good way to get a basic knowledge of Sherlock so and it's really pretty new because all of the books I'm reading have been used and I just like new books right now so feels nice and gold and shiny so that's that maybe I'll make a second part to this what books have you guys been reading what um, books have you enjoyed lately do you recommend anything based on what I've read next time I want to talk about some more books I don't know, I just want to talk about books, and I'm really into books right now, so... Ooh, books! Um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, sorry I'm talking really fast and really heavy, blah, 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 but whatever. Thanks for watching! Here's some books on the pile of books. Okay, bye!